Thank you for joining me again today. We're in Psalm 37. We will look at verse 34 in our brief time together. And as is our custom, and as, as is our need, let's pray before we get into God's Word. God, speak. And as you speak, help us to be assured and confident that what you say you will do, that you will fulfill your promises. Even and especially as you also command us to wait. Help us to learn to wait and to wait patiently and steadfastly. For you are faithful and good and your timing is perfect. I pray, oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 37, verse 34, a theme of waiting. David writes, wait for the Lord and keep his way. And he will exalt you to inherit the land. You will look on when the wicked are cut off. Waiting. Waiting's hard to do, especially when we are uh, anticipating. You know, think of as a child for Christmas, waiting for Christmas and the excitement of coming down Christmas morning to a lit tree with packages all around that weren't there the night before. And suddenly, magically, mysteriously, they're there. And that night, Christmas Eve, to have to fall asleep and to wait. Waiting is hard. As adults, think of this. You're in a circumstance of danger. You're trapped in rising floodwaters. You have uh, been in an accident and uh, you feel yourself severely injured. And someone keeps saying, wait, wait, wait. Help is on the way. It's hard to wait. It's hard to patiently wait. Yet David here says, wait, but there's an activity even as we wait. He says, wait for the Lord and keep his way. As you wait, do not lose heart. As you wait, don't give up your obedience and faithfulness to the commands of God. As you wait, trust, keep his way. God's timing is perfect, even though it is not perfect in the way that we want and the timetable that we long for, but God is perfect because his will is perfect. His timing is perfect. So David says, wait and keep to his way. Wait and trust because God will exalt you to inherit the land. God will deliver. God will deliver in his time and in his way. So not only will we be delivered, he says you, he will exalt you to inherit the land. There will be a deliverance. There will be a uh, rescue. There will be safety. But then he says, not only in that, is that rescue and safety one that benefits you, but then you get to see, observe how God handles those opposed to him. He goes, you'll look on when the wicked are cut off. You'll not only experience the grace of God, but you will see the justice of God. God will set all things right. I know it's hard to wait. It's hard for me to wait. But God tells us not to do the easy things, but to do the right things. Let us wait on the Lord, even as we trust Him. I hope that's a blessing and a help to the circumstances maybe that you're going through right now. There are this is practical instruction for faithful godliness. I'll see you again next time.